first time I saw Rocky Horror was when I was 15 years old in 1990. Uh, one of my older cousins took me to see it, and uh, I was hooked. It's kind of like I found my people, you know. <laughs> Just a little history of the cast. Uh, the cast actually started in 1985, um, out in the suburbs. I ended up joining cast in 97. We bounced around a little bit to some other theaters, and then um, ended up here in 2002. Our first show here was October 30th, 2002. They came to us saying, hey, we're looking for a new home. And we said, we'd love to have you. We have a little stage, we have a giant room. You are exactly what we try to do here. And we came up with one night every month to do Rocky with the Shadowcast. What we do is we act out the movie in front of the movie. And as goofy as that sounds, it's actually kind of fun. We try and be fairly screen accurate with our performance, but we try and leave room in there if something strikes us in the moment to improv something kind of goofy that's going to make people laugh. Hello and welcome to the Rocky Horror Motherfucking Picture Show! This weekend, it's going to be our 20 year anniversary here. And we've been in a handful of theaters and you know, it's been really hit or miss, like, but Music Box staff is just awesome. They're, they're kind, they're, they're um, very welcoming to all our shenanigans and like, you know, I don't know, they're just all good people and like, we feel at home here and like, we feel like we're part of the family here. And I think because we feel that, that connection to this theater, you know, we feel like we welcome our audience and we feel uh, a, a closer connection and kinship with them. There are times of the year where it's busier or less busy. And depending on those busy seasons or times, you'll get different types of people that are coming out. So if you go to the Rocky Horror in September, you get a lot of college kids who are back in school who want to go to Rocky. So you get a lot of these on faces, right? Virgins, ones who've never been there before. They affect the feeling of the room. Halloween, you get a lot of virgins, but you get a lot of people who go every year. So they know exactly what to do and they're ready on the beats to do the moments. And then the rest of the year, you get a lot of people who've probably been to Rocky, but they're at a lesser. That energy is a little bit different. Now, Rocky during Halloween is a whole nother animal, <laughs> right? You can't do one show in the month of October. somewhere between anxiety and excitement. So there's like a certain electricity in the air. Um, unless it's raining outside and then it's awful, but. <laughs> that combination of like Chicago being like a really cool like autumn city and like Rocky Horror being kind of like an autumn event. Like it just kind of all kind of coalesces and becomes uh, this like, I don't know, it's just electric. Um, some people come super early, some people come at showtime. Now that whole line can get long and deep. It can go all the way down to Waveland, which is the next block, which is insane. Hopefully you're in in time for the dance party. Just play some great beats and get people kind of dancing in their seats. And then we're gonna get into Rocky. You know, for, for something that's so chaotic and so, uh, feels so loose, um, it's actually very structured. We start pre-show exactly midnight. We roll film, we try to roll film as close to 12.30 as possible. Oh my God, the cast members knock it out of the park. I mean, we're in Chicago, it's such a great theater city. They really go all out. Do you have a dream of, of actually being a cast member? Absolutely not. <laughs> so sometimes it can be like, man, I'm, it's like you're getting out and it's like 2.30 in the morning, but 
you probably have been amped up off everybody else's energy, so you'll still be awake. Well, once, once we all came really late and had been drinking all day, so we all fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> One time we didn't make it through. All we fell asleep. six of us. Yeah. yeah. I've seen a lot of different types of audiences. There's other midnight movies like The Room, which that audience is less likable. But the Rocky audience I like. You know, there's a something, there's like a willingness and an understanding that let's just have fun. Nationally, it's, it's a very regional thing. You know, every region does Rocky Horror a little bit differently. As I've seen it grow, I've also seen it evolve into being like this really cool thing. Like our audience is, I love our audience. So what are you just up that What inspired the just, just a devil, you know. I just felt like being a little bit devilish. I haven't really dressed up for Halloween in a while, so I was like, oh, the devil's a classic. Audience participation is a really important part of the show. Otherwise, you're just sitting in a theater watching a show, and that's really such a unique part of like any midnight movie experience. Nobody's gonna hush you if you want to yell something funny during a midnight movie, or nobody's gonna you know look at you funny if you laugh at something that you're not supposed to laugh at. I really enjoyed the dildo action last time. Somebody took a dildo and they pasted it on the door, yes. and it was just stuck on the door the whole show. Yeah, massive dildo. Yeah. <laughs> And that's pretty much the foundation that Rocky Horror is built on. You know, tasteless humor, laughing at things you're not supposed to laugh at, and just being able to yell out things that you think are funny to make other people laugh. Going from being part of that in the audience to watching it, it's, I don't know, there's something satisfying knowing that all of these years later after, you know, I've no longer been in the audience, I don't really throw stuff anymore, like seeing that it's still a thing that happens and people are excited about um, about doing and still yelling stuff that I thought was funny when I was like 15 and it's still funny to me now, like it's, and like people coming up with new, new callbacks and new jokes. It's a very cathartic experience. I just am happy it continues and finds new audiences. Anybody who hasn't seen it should go. You will have a great time. It gives you an excuse to kind of Explore who you are, you know, explore your identity, do things that you maybe wouldn't have considered doing before, you know, maybe you were too scared to try. Like, that's kind of what, what being a cast is about, is, you know, being young and figuring yourself out. And, you know, in my case, you know, being old and figuring yourself out. I'm 47 years old and I still feel like I'm still learning new things about myself through this, through this stupid show, you know? <laughs>